Sudhendra Kulkarni, given the situation in Pakistan, and we're just talking about, for example, let's talk about the onion prices that have shot up more than 500% to close to 250 rupees a kg, virtually no food to eat. And India, on the other hand, is feeding 800 million people. Should India be helping Pakistan? The question is uh, not so much whether India should help Pakistan. Of course, as a neighbor, India should help Pakistan. But far more important is that Pakistan needs to help itself. Okay. It is facing the biggest crisis in many decades. It's not just the economic crisis. It's not even just the political crisis. For the first time, there is yet another crisis, and that is the crisis of cred credibility of the army. For the first time, common people are accusing the army. Political establishment, especially Imran Khan, is targeting the army. Yes. This had not happened before. And therefore, there are multiple crises that have uh, come together simultaneously. And all this is the, is the making of both the political establishment as well as the military establishment. The lesson to be drawn from this is that the military must stop interfering in the political process of Pakistan. Pakistan must become truly democratic. But that hasn't happened in the past seven decades, unlikely to happen probably even the next seven decades given the power that their army wields. But uh, Dr. Chavla, your opinion on two aspects. One, should India help Pakistan? Or should India tell Pakistan, if you want our help, take action against Hafiz Saeed, take action against Masood Azhar, take action against Daud Ibrahim, shut down India's centric mil jihad infrastructure, and will the IMF tell Pakistan that cut your army down to size? So, thank you, Gaurav. Uh, see, uh, about India's extending help to Pakistan, uh, I would start with the, the question is not about should we doing it or not. The question is more about two aspects that what are we trying to achieve through that. So one is, if, you know, if trying and give them the help which Pakistan is first of all not even asking us. Yeah. You know, the quantum of help which is required to change the debt dynamics in Pakistan is significant. The debt to GDP ratio is revolving around 70%. And when, you know, you have the traditional donors like China and even United States who are being having, having going with the IMF conditionalities and taking a position where the world is demanding, I would say, a structural change in Pakistan economy, trying to push Pakistan to actually make that change, which has not happened in decades. And that's why Pakistan learned to just live beyond its means, means in a death spiral. So that that is something that the world community wants, IMF wants, and I think that should happen. Second is if we are trying to see that if our extending of our assistance will lead to behavioral change in Pakistan. I think that's very difficult because firstly, the kind of position we are in, in terms of our relationship, we are not in any diplomatic dialogue since 2016. Okay. And secondly, we, have, we hold very different conditions on the dialogue. Uh, we hold our conditions of no tolerance on terrorism. And secondly, economic assistance to Pakistan, the history shows last two decades, I mean, $30 billion from United States, and that did not lead to any behavioral change in True. Pakistan. True. So for us to presume that that economic assistance can actually change the overall, you know, strategy of Pakistan's towards India, uh, I, do, I think that's not very feasible.